Are fractions tough to understand? Do you find them confusing? Is the concept difficult for you? Fret not. Team Bhanzo is here to simplify the concept for you. Watch the video till the end to fully understand the concept. But before we begin the video, let me give you all a situation. Let's see how life without fractions would be. Tom and John are sitting at a table. Hey John, could you pour some water for me in the glass? Sure. Hey, pour some more. That's too less. Not this much. I wanted some water to drink, not mop the floor. Then just specify how much you want. Can you guess why there was so much confusion? Some, lot and other descriptors are vague and indicate different quantities for different people. So what for some water for John was not the same for Tom. Now how do we resolve this conflict? Is there a way for John to get the desired amount of water without confusing or irritating Tom? If John specified the amount of water he wanted in a universally acceptable or quantifiable unit, let's say ml, Tom could understand easily. But do you think it is an achievable solution? Would everyone carry a measuring jar everywhere? Does not seem likely, does it? So what is the solution? It is a concept we will explore in today's video. Fractions Numbers offer us a fantastic way to measure quantities and communicate with others. If you want to count pens or pencils, you can use natural numbers. Similarly, if you wish to signify debt, you can use negative numbers. Confused what natural and negative numbers are? We are coming up with a video on that too. Click the bell icon to get notified when we post it. Now if you want to measure quantities that are not whole numbers, fractions help. Let's simplify this with an example. Here is a pizza with 6 slices. If we pick one out of these 6 slices, what fraction would that be? Here's a simple 3 step way to find out. Step 1. Count the total number of divisions made to any quantity. In this case, it is 6. Write it down. Step 2. Draw a line above it. Step 3. Count the number of parts you are taking out of the total number of divisions. In this case, it is 1. Write it above the line. In this form of a fraction, this slice represents 1 by 6. It is called 1 by 6, 1 upon 6 or 1 over 6. Let's stick to 1 by 6 for now. Here 1 is called the numerator of the fraction and 6 is called the denominator of the fraction. Now that you all know what fractions are and how they are written, let's see how fractions can make our life easy. Hey John, can you give me half a glass of water? Sure. Awesome. Thanks bro. Let me explain how John and Tom used fractions to solve the conflict. Based on his requirements, John could have requested one fourth of a glass, half of a glass, three fourth of a glass or a full glass of water. Since these quantities have the same meaning universally, there is no confusion and the request is fulfilled easily. That's why fractions are needed to identify quantities that are not whole numbers accurately. That was our lesson 1 on fractions. We will see you again in part 2 of this lesson. If you all wish to have any math topic explained, please let us know in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel.